That's what we're talking about today. Hola, mi amigos. Como estas? Donde es del baño? Jugo de naranja. Disculpe, por favor. Feeling my Spanish fantasy today because I'm all tanned up and bronzed up. Pretend like I'm on holiday when I'm not. But please, excuse the hands. A wee while ago, I reviewed some of the Sneak Energy powders. Just the wee tiny packets of them. Just reviewed some of the flavours, how they work and all that. It was pretty good and a lot of you have actually messaged me or commented saying you would like me to review the Sneak Energy cans. So that's what we're doing today. Before I jump into it, I would like to announce that this video is not sponsored, obviously. Uh, the last one wasn't either. I'm just doing this out of the goodness of my own heart because I like to try new things. However, I will put a link in the description box to my Sneak Elite package. Basically, I signed up for Sneak Elite which means if you use my link when you go to buy some sneak, you get like loyalty points, I guess. And I also get points because you've used my link and then you can get money off if you use points. So please use that because I buy a lot of this stuff and it does kind of rack up when you've been buying a lot of the same thing over and over again. I don't get any money out of it. It's more like a refer a friend type situation where if you use my link, then we both get money off. Anyways. Here we go. I ordered the variety pack of the Sneak Energy cans, which is all three flavours. I think there's 12 cans in total, so you get four of each flavour. And it was £24 for the whole bundle, plus a wee bit for standard shipping. Um, so that's like £2 a can, which sounds like a bit like, whoa, but when you think about it, from my experience, a lot of supermarkets like to really rack up the price on energy drinks, so you're paying about Two pound odds anyway. I've only got three flavours for now. Uh, hopefully they'll be bringing out more because I just I would like more. We've got blue raspberry, which I'm drinking right now. This is the first one I've had of the whole twelve. I think I had the powder of this one as well, and it was actually really nice. But I can't remember my own opinion. Also got Tropicilla, which I remember I had the powder for and I didn't like at all. So. This might be the worst one. And then I also have strawberry watermelon. I didn't try the powder for strawberry watermelon in my video, but I've tried it since and it's actually really, really good. One of my favorite flavors. So hopefully the cans are also just as good. If not, I will cry. Came in really nice packaging as well. With a nice wee cardboard box all separated and that looked really nice. Um, and then here's me putting them in the fridge, keeping them all nice and organized and cold. They actually arrived really quick too. I uh, ordered them on Wednesday the 15th and they arrived on Friday the 17th, which is pretty quick if you ask me and that's just standard shipping. I never paid for fancy shipping, you know what I mean? So pretty, pretty quick on the draw with that one. Right, so the plan is for the next 12 days, I'm going to do the same thing I did the last time when I just got, you know, I had a packet each flavour packet I had one a day um, and then I reported back on my findings. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have 12 days, one can each day, thinking about the flavour, thinking about the energy, obviously. It's an energy drink. Uh, basically how I go functioning with that is my energy supplement for the day. And then in 12 days, once I've tanned them all and taken my notes and done my research, I'll come back and tell you all about it. We'll have a nice wee blether in 12 days all about it. I'll see you in 12 days. Hasta luego, mi amigos. 16 paranoia filled days later. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, folks. We're back, back, back again. 12-ish days later. I think it's actually been a bit longer than that. Um, but we're back. And have I got some news for you. Mostly good news, not gonna lie. But news nonetheless. First things first, I'll tell you all about the boring nutrition numbers and levels and kilojoules and micrograms. Words I haven't heard since Nat5 Science because I did some absolutely painstaking research. Just so you don't have to. General disclaimer of the numbers and whatever I'm about to tell you. I got from the Sneak website so all of the information is correct as of right now. Obviously that might change, I don't know. But if any of my information is wrong, I do apologise because I wasn't paying 100% attention. I was actually having a Ricky Martin sing-along 
while I was researching, so I might not have been paying the fullest attention. Overall, there's not much difference between a sneak can and a sneak powder tub, other than a couple of just little things, but overall they're like the same amounts of everything. Obviously the cans are carbonated, that means fizzy by the way, whereas the tubs and powders are not. Ugh, that's kind of obvious. Both the cans and the tubs are sugar-free with no preservatives and they both have 150 micrograms of caffeine in them. I'm getting my little can out here. I, I saved the cans for props. You're welcome. The cans say that they have 25 kilojoules of energy per 500 milliliter can and all the cans are 500 milliliters so that's pretty much 25 kilojoules of energy per can. I've mentioned before that I was an avid monster drinker in the past, right? According to the Monster Energy website, a 500 milliliter can of Monster contains 1,006 kilojoules of energy. Bitch, what the fuck? About 40 cans of sneak worth of energy, if my maths is right, in one can. No, that can't be right. I've done something wrong. 500 divided by 25. Yeah, 40. That can be healthy. On the topic of the beast that is monster, I used to drink that all the time, especially during my archaeology digs every morning. I would get one to power myself up the road and get digging. And even in high school, I was that emo who would take photos of their monster can and put it on their story for everyone to see because I thought I was so edgy and so cool and I'd get all the different colours and I think I also mentioned this in my last video as well but making the change from monster to sneak has actually made me feel a lot better about myself I'm less jittery, I'm less anxious and paranoid or whatever I sleep a lot better as well and my heart doesn't feel like it's going to do a Papa Pete Morton and absolutely explode on me. Jack. No! No! Anyway, too long, didn't read for all that. There's not much difference from the cans to the tubs, except I think the tubs are 12 calories and the cans are 5. So if you're about counting your calories, maybe the cans would be a better option for you. If you're not really that bothered, have both. I don't really care. Do what you want. Also, the cans are fizzy. That's about it. To be honest, there's not much different. I will say though, if you get a tub, even though it's not fizzy, if that's your thing, a tub will last a lot longer than the cans because obviously the cans, just once it's open, you kind of have to drink it. Whereas the tubs, you just put one wee scoop in, shake it with like 500 milliliters of water. You pretty much got one of the cans except in a shaker and it's not fizzy and there's a lot more flavors available with the tubs. So maybe, maybe that's more for you. But yeah, just to also put it out there, just because a can of Monster has more energy in it than a can of Sneak doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Because the whole point is that amount of energy in a can of Monster, the fact that that's 40 times more than a can of Sneak, that's not good. That amount of energy in your body, especially if you're drinking more than one can of like energy juice a day, you're gonna give yourself some problems, man. Cut that shit out. Now that I no longer feel like a shaky bag of shite because I'm no longer drinking Monster, time to move on to my favourite part of this video. My opinion. That means that you can't shout at me in the comments because if you disagree with me, that's fair enough, but this is my opinion. So, back home. Overall, uh, the can's been pretty decent. I had one can a day and I had a different flavour each day just because I felt like it, so I was alternating flavours. My favourite by far was probably strawberry watermelon mainly because it's very refreshing um i've had the tub powder version of it as well and that was probably my favorite because it just felt so light and it's sweet but it's not like an in your face flavor my second favorite was blue raspberry this one is very very strong and has a very very like the flavor's got quite a kick to it because it's so sweet and raspberry ish really nice still still stand by the fact that these taste like blue ice blasts except the cans taste not as much like an ice blast as the powder does and the least favorite was tropicilla poor tropicilla can never score high on my list 
I think before in my other video the powder came like second last because cherry bomb was disgusting. I will say I do like the fizzy version better than powder version for this. It's quite tangy, it's got tangy taste to it I guess. And these I will say might be a bit TMI but um, whenever I drank Tropicilla it did give me more acid reflux later in the day I noticed. I'd be like wow why is my throat so sore and burning? And I was like oh I had Tropicilla this morning. But on the other days with the other two flavours I never really got that. That's probably just my own innards and how they work. I mean if you get Tropicilla you probably really enjoy it. Like I said, this is my opinion, this is how it affected me, it'll probably do the complete opposite for you or something completely different, I don't know, but that's that's how it affected me. So I did it. I drank each of the cans pretty much first thing in the morning and suffice to say they powered me on through all throughout the day. That's a nice car. Usually I would start to feel it kind of wear off around 4 or 6 in the afternoon. Um, just depended on what time I drank it in the morning and what I was actually doing during the day but because it was kind of wearing off around tea time I was actually able to go to bed at like 10 and fall asleep by you know 11 but with a can of monster I would be lying awake till about 1 I really I really could not in hindsight I'm not gonna lie drinking monster as much as I like the taste in that it really did not do me good at all the other day as well, I actually had just two cans in one day. Look at me, bit of a wild card. <laughs> um, just because I wanted to see, like, would it make me feel sick? Would it make me feel like my heart was about to explode? No! No! But I still felt pretty good, to be honest. I will say drinking them, like, two in one day, I couldn't really sleep that night because I, like, drank the other one in the afternoon, so it kept me up a lot later. I felt a bit giddier than normal after having two in one day but no like creeping anxiety no heart palpitations none of that so high fives all around in that respect for those of you who have not seen my last sneak energy video before the coffee warriors come out and say if you want a healthier energy drink then just drink coffee ah. shove your coffee where the sun doth not shine i hate coffee always have. I hate the smell, I hate the taste. I hate being in cafes because they just reek. Unless I've got a panini or a sandwich to keep me seated. I absolutely hate it. No, oh, I digress. Your dog is shitting on my driveway. Again, I digress. Final thoughts? Can's pretty good. I just kind of wish that they had more flavours. I know this was like, the cans are still pretty new and this was their first launch, just the three flavours. I get that. Hopefully, they've got a few more in the works because I would really, really like cans of stealth. Stealth is still my number one fave. Also, the new sour apple. Get some cans of that going. I'd absolutely love it. Yeah, that's probably the only bad thing I would say. Job Killer gave me acid reflux, and there's not many flavours, but other than that, the can's pretty good. That's it. Sneak wins again. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you if you were planning on buying some sneak but you weren't sure or you wanted to know what the cans were like without buying them or if you just wanted to hear my dulcet tones talk all the rubbish about energy drinks again. You're welcome. Here you go. Hope you enjoy. Mind and check the description box because I will leave the link to my sneak elite where you can get your refer a friend whatever it is to get your points for money off. Not sponsored, again, That's li it's literally just a refer a friend scheme and you get like loyalty points and that, so use that link if you want. Um, I'll also leave a link to the Sneak website independent of my link in case you want to say nah fuck you, you're not getting my points and you want to go and get it without, that's fine. I respect that. I'll also leave a link and a card somewhere in here uh, for my previous Sneak video if you want to hear more me chatting rubbish about the tubs, well not the tubs, the wee packets, the flavours, whatever they're called. Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe if you want. Uh, let me know what else you want me to do. Just give me ideas, I'm really not that creative. If you want me to review something, you want me to do something, I don't know, just give me ideas, I'll probably do them because I am not creative in the slightest. All my social medias are also down, down in that bit, down there. Um, if you want to give me a follow, or if you want to like, I don't know, if you're too shy to write something in the YouTube comments and you want to send me an idea, do it on Instagram. I don't care, do what you want. But that's it. I have been Leanne Hart, and I have spoken. No, just see you next time. Bye-bye.